Yours? I think what she hadn't anticipated uh, was um, the reaction. You remember there was an outburst by Enoch Powell, uh, who called her a traitor in the uh, in the House of Commons when the announce after the announcements were made. And actually, on the day of the signing, I remember very well that uh, she was very concerned because she arrived at Hillsborough, uh, and immediately um, before we had a further meeting, she went up to private room um, to speak on the telephone to Ian Gow, who'd been her. PPS, and her, her most loyal supporter, who resigned over it. We went upstairs afterwards, and somebody gave us each a glass of champagne. And I said, Margaret, of course, our ambassadors are going in to co repair in Brussels to organise a large amount of money for Northern Ireland on Tuesday, it was the following week. And she said, What? As you didn't know about it, she must have known about it. Oh, no, more money for these people, she said? Look at their schools, look at their roads. I need it for my people. She wasn't much of a unionist. I mean, she was, our sympathies lay with unions, certainly more than nationalists, but in fact she was a very English person who had no particular uh, draw for our affection for Northern Ireland, I'd say.